smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. So today, guys, I got another video for you guys. And guess what's sitting in these ginormous boxes? But this box is as big as my fr refrigerator in the house. Like this thing is huge, man. It's huge. So. I've been really, 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 really excited to uh, pretty much get going, you know, on my BMW build. But the package said it was going to be delivered in about a week and a half. And considering the size of this thing from the other side of the world, I was expecting it was going to be delivered. You know, I, this is probably at least seven, seven to eight feet long. Okay, and it's at least like maybe a foot and a half, two foot wide. I was really expecting this thing to come and probably, you know, as I stated, about a week and a half. So that's why I told you guys in the last video that I'm probably gonna try to like slow down my videos because I don't know when this stuff's gonna come. But uh, apparently this stuff came super early and the other stuff's gonna come down the road. So um, at least it's gonna be evenly spaced out. I'm probably gonna still try to like upload this ASAP because I'm gonna keep you guys updated with what's really happened. I don't wanna like upload a video of me doing something and I did it like three weeks ago because it just kind of defeats the purpose of you guys knowing what I'm doing with my life and my car, you know, staying updated. So yeah guys, so what I ended up doing, I purchased a used M-Tech bumper for my car, and it is a little bit beat, but I'm gonna take it out of the shop, they're gonna patch it up for, you know, probably 50 bucks, something like that. Or I could probably try to do some Bondo. I don't know how the last Bondo job went. But anyways, don't mind that. I'm gonna try to fix this bumper, just so there's a little bit of a crack on there. And then I got a brand new diffuser. Um, this diffuser is not as nice as my last one, but uh, this is an M-Tech diffuser. I think this is like the OEM uh, style diffuser. It's not like, I think I have my original one that got an accident. You guys can see it's like broken right there. But that is a diffuser I had. It was a $300 diffuser. You know, probably a stupid decision. But then again, it wasn't my fault. I didn't do the accident. You know, it's not my fault. So, you know, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my car in the garage, unbox this big old bumper, and see if it just snaps on there, you know, and just complete my car, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, so here is my baby. I have the sensors covered up with some tape so the rain, or if it was gonna rain, or when I was washing my car, you know, doesn't get all messed up. I get the sensors out of the car real quick. I was actually looking all over the place, but here are the sensors. They labeled them one to, one to four when I got in the accident with the insurance place. They were pretty chill people. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in all the sensors, uh, make sure they work and give me no errors in the car, and then I'm gonna unbox the bumper, set it up, and uh, hopefully, you know, my car will be looking pretty smacking again. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy this look for a little bit, you know, because it still looks very nice. But at the same time, um, the sticker, you know, if I wish I didn't have these on them, uh, probably would have made them look a whole lot better, to be honest. It probably had a giant wing that's like this high, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm kidding. All right, let me, uh, let me, let me go ahead and install these sensors real quick. What I liked about also what they did, they marked all the places that have uh, pretty much the damages. It does have the cover right there. The main damage is right here, as you guys can see. I'm probably gonna end up bond sanding that down, bonding it up, and just, you know, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, there's no edges or anything like that. Um, the good thing about this bumper, of course, it has the PDC sensors. There was a lot of, you know, aftermarket ones without PDC sensors, but I really need those um, because, of course, I don't want to hit anything as I'm reversing, and I like to, you know, take advantage of every single feature in my car. So without further ado, just to see all the damages is currently on this bumper, I'm going to go ahead and wash it, and then we're going to, uh, you know, see what else I have to do before putting it on the car. Alright guys, I'm letting the bumper dry off over there, as you, as you can see. I'm letting it dry off right over here. I'm going to go ahead and take out the tail light so I can slap on the bumper, so I can put in the tabs, because there's some tabs underneath the light there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I got all that off. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on the plug in the uh, the sensors and then put in the lights to see if everything you know aligns correctly. All right, guys. I just want, I would just like to say that everything in life really happens for a reason. I mean, putting on this bumper and seeing the results is absolutely insane. So I want to show you guys how it looks, and I just want to say how happy I am and how everything turned out. You know, almost having my car paid off to where now it's pretty much back to how it was with a few, you know, little dings. But you know, that's fine with me. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what is now how the car, you know, stands and. Um, 
we're just we're this much closer to getting back to how it was. So guys, as you guys know, this was the side with the accident. Everything is fine. There's no dings, no nothing. Every the fitment right here is great, right around the light. Right here, not the best, but hey, that's not that big of a deal. The light, everything, the trunk closes perfectly fine. Bumper, all the sensors are in. Same goes for this side. Alignment, everything is good. Bumper's there. Um, this is the, I do see a little bit of a nick there on the bumper. That's fine, no big deal. Um, considering I got this bumper for 240, it's not the end of the world. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and try to install this diffuser and uh, we'll see how everything comes out. Guys, it just like that, I couldn't be any happier. Look at that, the fuser sat in there perfectly. There's a way better alignment than my previous bumper because that other piece is aftermarket. Um, so all I gotta fix is that little center piece right there, then wrap the rear bumper, and bam guys, as good as new. Really, really happy in how this turned out. And um, I mean, after this, but after fixing all these little things and then wrapping the bumper, the, I'm telling you guys, the car is as good as new. I'm really, really, really happy. Everything just get, went according to plan. Everything happens for a reason, guys. Without further ado, guys, I'm gonna show you guys um, me cleaning up the bumper, trying to fix it up in the next video. I'm gonna head in. It's about, it's about time for me to break my fast. I'm really, really, really hungry. So again, Ramadan Mubadik. Take it easy, guys. Smash the like button if you guys are excited for the next video. I'll try to post it the day after or two days after, depending on how many likes you guys can get this video to. And uh, yeah, remember to stay humble. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy.